Hi guys, this is James from Big Macs. Uh, it's been a while that I posted any review for uh, uh, any new projector and what you see here in front of me is the latest 4K Ultra Chateau laser projector from Chic uh, model B7U and here you can see the Chic logo here and the whole thing was uh, beautiful crafted and it's a completely new design on uh, especially on the top part uh, you can see here the top part, front panel here is metal and on the back top cover part also is a metal so and you the, the button here is look make it like a steel uh, design to make it look uh, very premium uh, looking and here this is the, the uh, bluetooth uh, remote control for the projector which is also is uh, air mouse enabled so later i'm going to show you how this uh, remote control works but overall this is how the projector look very very premium looking projector on the front you'll find there's a two speaker here two tablet speaker on the front for the front firing uh, uh, of the sound then uh, on the side which i want to show you now on the side here, you will find two exhaust fans, uh, which is on the right hand side. It's basically to suck the cold air in to cool the projector. Then, while on the uh, left hand side, there's two also two exhaust fans to pull the hot air out from the projector so that it will achieve uh, optimal uh, cooling uh, effect. Now, if you look at the back, this is the back of the projector. Uh, this is the AC in, power in and this is the ports that you have you will have two hdmi port uh, hdmi one and two will serve as an up port audio return channel then there's a two usb port rs232 one spdif for the optical uh, for sound connection uh, you have the audio out 3.5 millimeter jack uh, the coaxial digital out as well as the uh, lan rj45 cable that you can plug in for internet access uh, but the projector itself is uh, wireless uh, uh, enabled. There's a wireless inside, so you can actually using uh, RG45 for better connection, or you can also using Wi-Fi connection uh, to connect to the internet. If you look at on top of the projector, so you can see this is the laser light source output here. The lights of the projector, the light laser will come up from here. And you can see there's one lens here. This is the auto focus features of this projector that it will detect the focus of the screen and you auto adjust the focus for you. And here you can see this is the motion sensor. This is to detect that in the event that small children or whatever walk close to the the lens of the projector, the laser, it will auto turn off the lights so that you will achieve the eye protection features and after 5 minutes, it will automatically turn on back. Uh, it, when, once the, this, the uh, sensor start the uh, turn off the light, laser lights, so there will be also a voice prompt to tell you that uh, uh, there's a bright light source here, please stay away, you know. So there, there will be the uh, warning prompt for, for you just to, to uh, uh, make sure that those kids or children uh, stay away from this light source. Alright? Now let's power off the projector and let us see how good this projector performs and in terms of the video quality, the user interface as well as the clarity of the videos uh, being projected on the screen. Let's move to the screen, we open up the screen. Okay, what I'm using here is uh, Vividstorm 100 inch floor rising ambient light rejection screen. Uh, this is a uh, 100 inch. I'm going to power up the projector. Let us see the picture quality. Okay, this is the remote, the power button. Let's press the power on. And you can see the power button. The light is blinking. It shows that the projector is powering it up. So when you power it up, you see this Chang Hong, which is the parent company of the Chic uh, laser projector. Here you power it up and show the Chic laser theater. Give it about 12 seconds and once it's power up then you can see this is the main page um, slightly different inter user interface compared to the previous generation uh, this one they are run on uh, android platform 
and it's an Android 9.0 uh, tvOS okay the main page you can see here there's a media uh, TV manager the clear catches application uh, then the source settings uh, for the screen uh, interactive where you can do the uh, mirroring here uh, then you have a Netflix the app toy TV YouTube and uh, some of the app stores here right so this is basically the main interface and if you point the uh, mouse up the, the remote control up you can see the network and also you can select the source here just the additional uh, uh, area that you can choose your source okay before I proceed to uh, go into details of the projector uh, what you see here this is the remote control for the uh, uh, B7U cheap B7 projector. Uh, let me go through the individual buttons here. Okay, what you see here is that this is the power button, and this is the focus adjustment button, and this is the home source selection, the return settings, and this also is a quick shortcut for the uh, focus, and this is the volume rocker. And this is directional pad and the center, the round one, is the uh, selection button. Once you click OK, the center is the one that you press. Right? This is the uh, Bluetooth uh, remote controller. And it comes with the uh, uh, air mouse. Uh, how you do it, just by shaking it then. You see, by shaking it there, there, there will be the air mouse you can see on the screen. Alright? Now this is the main page again. This is the main page of the projector once you power it up. Uh, you can see all those interface, those selections that you can choose from and, uh, and if you look very carefully you see the reflection, there's uh, two lights on top, the white color that's actually the... this video was shot in the uh, very bright lit uh, environment uh, but you can still see the picture sharpness and clarity because uh, you are using this uh, vivid storm uh, floor rising ambient light rejection screen so if you still uh, you don't want the floor rising in fact you can actually project it on the fixed frame that you need to mount it on the wall uh, AR screen okay let's move on to the individual uh, settings that are the features that you can access from this main page okay let's media is the way you can find that if you plug in the external hard disk drive your USB drive you can actually plug in here uh, where you can select the uh, the source or, or any movies that you have downloaded or purchased uh, uh, inside your uh, external hard drive or USB drive let's move in here so um, for example let's say we try some of the uh, videos that have been uh, downloaded this is the demo video okay so this is basically the the videos that i've downloaded uh, for demo purposes as you can see with the light still turned on you can see the the picture quality on the screen is still very very sharp and very very clear and vivid okay. this is with two rows of lights uh, 8 LED down lights 30 watt each uh, switch on okay let me dim down the light a bit so that you can see uh, the picture more clearer and also with the, the backlight on the, the back of the screen is uh, turned off and you can see more clearer B7U uh, chip is uh, the brightness is 2300 NC lumens so meaning that the brightness is good enough now I can uh, let you see that you can see the reflection on top this is uh, three rows of lights actually turn on let me move the camera to the top so that you can see all the lights on top so if you can see the lights on top is actually all switch on okay uh, what I'm demo is that I'm try to show you in an extreme environment uh, B7U still give you very very bright image color so as you can see despite so bright the environment you still get a very bright picture quality uh, because of the brightness of uh, B7U now I'm switching just one row of lights turn on 
Okay, uh, don't mind the some flickering because that's because of the uh, frequency different from the phone recording and, and compared to the uh, frequency of the projector. Now is the center row, lights turn on. This is the left right hand side uh, row turn on and two rows turn on and now this is completely lights off. See how bright, how nice the color it is. Chic B7U comes with the uh, autofocus features where you can actually, the picture once you power up projector, on the first time, it will actually autofocus for you. And it does come with other like a 8 point keystone, uh, built in memory of 3 plus 64, quite, quite a sizable memory. In fact, it's one of the uh, highest memory, uh, internal memory on the market. Uh, most of the market the projectors they are offering you uh, 3 plus 32 or 2 plus 16 uh, you know but Cheek B7U they are actually offering 3 plus 64 gig so for you to download other apps or you want to store some movies inside your projector actually you can do so with because it comes with very quite large sizable uh, memories alright let's move to individual features of the projector okay here when you press the setting button, you can actually have, you can see this scene mode. Uh, inside there's a one, two, three, four, five. Five modes of selection that you can actually choose. Uh, default out of the box is actually standard where the color is uh, uh, less bright and pretty standard. You know, all is adjusted on a pre-factory setting. For UMAX, it's actually for, it's considered as a cinema mode where you, when you when you off all the lights, you don't want the screen to be too bright, you want to see it more soothing to the eyes, you can actually do so by selecting UMAX, which is a cinema mode. Then for sports mode, you can actually have more vibrant color, uh, basically for sports uh, kind of uh, uh, source material. SDR basically is a standard definition to the high definition. All right? Then my mode, you can actually select and set your own color setting. Right? You can set own contrast, uh, brightness, saturation, sharpness. You can even actually control the color temperature, the, the gain from RGB. The gain you can control to have less red or to have less green. You know, all is customizable. All right? Now let's move back to the, the, the other setting is the customized my mode. You can actually set your own the surround here. Actually, I'm uh, uh, select it to be on. Okay, and these are all the frequencies that you can adjust to uh, suit your uh, taste. What kind of the sound level that you want. Coming back to the main, then there's the reset uh, button. You can reset everything back to default, which is where you go back to the factory. Uh, setting which is a standard setting then here you have your play mode which is a normal speed uh, repeat single or you want to loop it play for in case for those who actually want to do it for the showroom of your office whatever you can do the loop play as well for the for your video of course though those movies that you come with subtitles you can actually choose with subtitles that you want you know for here this the video is just a demo that's so, why uh, you don't see any subtitles here then there's audio track for those uh, the movies or videos that you download that have multiple tracks you can actually select here but here I'm showing you it's just a single track uh, for the video on more settings you can actually select the expect ratio for full full screen movie you will expand the screen a bit uh, this is original based on original format of your video or you can select auto as well all right, then subtitle that those that can fit in the subtitle of the screen. So basically, most of the time we will choose auto. Yeah, in true colors, compared to other brands of projector, uh, cheap, they are more, I would say, more generous in giving this kind of features where those who like to have more customized uh, color settings to suit their own taste. So, okay, sorry, the video jumped a bit to another video. Give me a minute. Okay, you can see here, uh, like I said, Cheek is quite generous in terms of uh, letting you customize the whole whole uh, video that you want to watch. You can customize the skin color, 
uh, the and uh, red colorness you want to have blue green yellow anything that you want to adjust just to fit to your custom you can customize your own video to your liking in total here uh, those color that you can adjust you have actually more than seven right here the skin color inclusive the screen brightness one two three four five six seven eight it, it's settings that you can adjust to suit your requirement right then there's a smart filter uh, you can do the uh, filtering of the uh, let the and AI engine to do the filtering of your image to make it more clearer right so uh, then you have MEMC MEMC stands for motion estimation and motion motion compensation right so how does it work let me show you here I'm going to do the video for the judge test MEMC basically once once you hit the uh, the settings of the, the MEMC basically your video will run smoother and uh, for Chic B7U they actually run on the third generation which is the latest generation of motion compensations so the video will run smoother and uh, you won't have those uh, jada uh, dizziness when you watch fast action movie scene right let's play, play this video jada test so if you look at this video the video is quite smooth because the MEMC was switched to high so let me turn it off so you can see the video start to judder you know the image and once you turn it on high and it start to smooth back so basically these are the the MEMC feed let me try another video which is 20, 24 frame per second motion test okay right so you can see here it, it was default turn on high so let's turn it off then you can see the 24 frame per second that the round ball is actually very dizzy and the motion is very blurred so once i switch to high now you can see it very very clear even the square box you can see the motion is very very smooth okay coming back to the another features which is this this one dnr stands for digital noise reduction default it was switched on but if you don't like it you want to turn it off yeah just just one click at the center of your remote you will turn it off right so here i'm going to leave it uh, by default dynamic depth is that you're going to have more depth more contrast for image if you switch it off then you can see the picture slightly brighter but you lose out some of the contrast of uh, the black color black level so you're going to switch it on now you can see the black color i'm not sure whether you're going to can see it in the video but uh you know based on naked eye we can see it quite quite clearly so coming back to the setting again so just now i show you more settings uh, which is the uh, dynamic uh, true color memc you know then here you can also do the because the projector come with optical output so you can do the in case of uh, any lip sync problem so you can do the uh, uh, optical output delay so that based on the video source and also the audio output you can actually sync the the video and the audio so channel here the video uh, is default but it's a stereo Then if you long press the setting buttons on your remote let me let me light up if you long press the setting button here on the remote if you can see it here so your long press you're going to bring you another setting features like quick picture which is just not what you see and also this projector come with 3d uh, enable uh, meaning that uh, you can actually those you have downloaded the movies or whatever from the uh, uh, Google or whatever you download you can this one if as long as the video is 3d you can actually switch on trio you can choose side by side for the video and TP stands for top-down format of the 3d videos once you switch it on then you can watch a 3d movie oh, of course you need the uh, active uh, 3d glasses uh, which is DLP glasses anything that you can you can find on the uh, internet uh, as long as you support DLP uh, it, it can be used now moving to the next uh, menu uh, which is a sound sound setting you can do the sound setting you can adjust the surround like it's the same uh, another path from uh, the uh, my mode where that I, I show you just now this one is just direct you can come up to the sound settings you can adjust your your frequency for 120 Hz for more based you know and uh, you want to have higher clearer clarity on the tweeters high high frequency side you can use this one all right then speaker here what you see here is that 
internal speaker in case you connect it to the external AV receiver you can just select it to external speaker then the speaker the sound will be directly output to the AV receiver here again is the optical output delay in case this is the night volume control in case you are, you're watching the video at night you don't want to disturb your neighbor or you don't want to disturb your kids or your wife next to you you can actually turn on the volume control on a night volume control so that the volume you can set some certain limits that you won't disturb other people while, while you're watching so here is the system sound i already turn it off but uh, you can actually set the once you select there's a sound button when you click it let me see whether can can uh, increase it so you can hear it then you can see there's a natural sound the tung, 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 this kind of sound or you can use a chime yeah there's a chime sound and select it tung, 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 something like that okay so uh i decided to turn it off because i don't like those when i'm watching when i click settings there's a lot of uh, sound disturbance uh coming up from other uh like a uh, you know chime or whatever so so this is, this is my own preference taste but if you like it you can always turn it on then network is where you set the uh, Wi-Fi or you have cable connection LAN you can actually connect it here all right then Bluetooth is where you connect to your Bluetooth keyboard or your Bluetooth uh, speaker uh, anything that to connect to this uh, cheek B7 projector So system here basically you can see here is where you have all those main system settings here you can see the default language is English the device name is Chic B7U and the system info here inside you can find is the serial number and the o, the uh, OS platform is uh, Android 9.0 TV OS and the time zone here was set to uh, Malaysia time because I'm recording here here it is for in Malaysia then the mouse here you can set the mo the mouse the uh, the strength the sensitivity you can set it here plug and play such a game console once you plug it in it will automatically uh, uh, enable that you can just play play immediately auto power button this is that in case you put it there idle and you don't use it you can set it to 30 minutes 60 minutes or 240 minutes those that when you idle uh, you're not using it leave it there you forgot to turn it off you rush out you know to see your girlfriend and and it will just uh, what the timer that you set you can turn off based on the time you set here you have only three selection 30 minutes 60 and 240 This is the delay shutdown the timer and the screen saver time is that the, uh, how long you would uh, once you put it idle the screen saver will, will pop up to, to do the, the the screen saver pilot lamp is a smart lamp that you put it on the projectors that whether it's on uh, it's a turn off uh, you can see the indicator light on the power power uh, on the power button on the physical uh, body of the projector light setting here here is uh, you can see the brightness of your menu your energy saving you see that the whole screen dim down standard then highlight is basically is brighter then near light protection is that uh, once you like i told you this on the top of the project there's a light sensor the motion sensor so once you move near to the projector uh, it will off the lights for roughly five seconds then when you move away then you auto switch on back let me show you how it was done now now it was it is turned off let me turn it on right let us move closer now i'm going to point to the projector now let me move into the the near to the screen so once the projector sends it Caution. Be careful with your eyes. Yeah, it will give you the warning prompt and the uh, screen will be turned off. After five seconds, it will start to turn on back. Okay, let me do it one more time. Caution. Be careful with your eyes from the light inside. Well, this is how it works. Then there's another settings which is HDMI CC settings. Once you hear HDMI CC function is turned turn on and the auto on peripherals meaning that once you power on the projector 
anything that is connected by HDMI to the projector will be turned off at the same time so that you will save your time if you have to power on the projector have to power on for example let's say you have a Comcast or you have the Blu-ray player or your AV receiver once you power on the projector it will automatically turn off other devices and it is also off the peripherals in case you power off the projector other devices that is connected by the HDMI of the projector it will auto turn off as well and ARC switch here you can see here is default is turned on where you can connect it the auto return channel to your AV receiver or your sound bar so that you can output the sound uh, to your other audio devices now moving to the other settings which is the display here once you press the display this is the display mode picture calibration focus adjustment and the reset so to go into the display mode here meaning that now you can see the projector is in front right in front here so basically now it's a front bottom projection you can also do rear lip projection meaning that it was actually your projector was behind the screen for those who are actually using those like for uh projected from behind for, for like for some company presentation you want to see you don't want the project to be in front that people can see it you can do the the, the rear projection lift meaning is that you, you actually install on top of the ceiling front lift projection is front projection but projector is installed on the ceiling and the rear projection is that projector is projected from behind but actually was made on from the bottom projection up then you can see here picture collab, uh, calibration here you can see this comes with the auto keystone adjustment you can like say you press the ok button the center selection button once you press it actually it move around to different points that you can actually select the which point that you want to do the adjustment let's say now I want to adjust the top left corner so all I do is I click the down button can you see the picture is actually the vertical is moving you want to adjust to the horizontal you can move horizontal right so this basically is for those who actually install DIY on your own and uh, you want to save time make your life easier to fit into your screen you can actually use this adjustment however for those who want to have a raw output X per what the projectors can give them you don't want to use any keystones being underneath the projector there's two knobs in on the front one on the left one on the right you can actually use the manual physical keystone adjustment to fit in to your screen like for what you see here i don't use any digital uh, electronic uh, keystone i basically because i like the picture as it is uh, from the source i don't want to use any artificial cor uh, correction so basically i use physical uh, keystone to adjust the screen you can see all the numbers you can see on the screen it is basically untouched and this is what i want to get for the best quality pictures for all my videos then focus adjustment like i said this projector come with auto focus feature or you can actually manually adjust it uh, the focus depends on uh, uh, on the situations or what kind of screens you're using so you can do a manual adjustment as well then of course you can do the, the full reset means the all everything go back to the default uh, out of factory setting then moving to the final the uh, setting you can do on the, the projector is the support here uh, from here once you press you can actually go to for user manual where you, you can scan the QR code so that you can get the user manual of course the uh, physical hard copy manual will also come in the box where it's all in English you can actually uh, refer to the user manual hard copy on the come in the box right and for system update uh, you can check for upgrade periodical updates if there's any uh, new update pool being pushed to you or you can actually know the version detail of the uh, your 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 firmware right so well basically that's that's all on the uh, systems okay and the settings that you can do now let's move on to the let you uh, let me show you the picture quality of this video of this projector okay this is the first video um test run where you can see this all the lights turn on you can see on the reflection on the the top there's three rows of lights turn on and you can see this video 
image on the screen uh, coming from the B7 cheap B7 projector is very very clear and sharp very very clear it, as though it's like you're watching a normal TV now I'm switch on the first row you can see very very clear second row not much image quality uh, you know there's no change in the picture quality it's still very nice very sharp the right side two rows it's very very clear right so now i'm going to turn off all the lights wow the contrast the color is very very accurate i mean for 2003 nc lumens people might say that uh, when i go for 3000 i go for 4000 nc lumens actually for 2000 nc lumens chic they actually making very good projector that you can see the image quality on the screen is very very sharp and nice you look at the color the red and blue is clearly separated clearly defined and you can see the clarity it, i would say this is very perfect for those who desire to have a big screen you know it, at home i mean chick is one of the uh, b7u is one of the projector that you can you should consider Okay, now, now I'm moving to another video just to show you uh, the motion compensations that are built in in the Cheek V7U. Uh, now I play this, this the uh, soccer game. You can see the color clarity, and this is a 4K video. Oh my God, you can see the detailed hairs of the person. Here's another video and let me power on the lights center right two rows and off again Right, it's still very clear. Now I'm with the on. one row of lights turned on. Now let's cut, let's just try this uh, YouTube video to see the uh, performance of B7U on the YouTube. Sorry about the flickering because this is the uh, uh, frequency difference between the phone uh, with the uh, compare the pro projector. All right? Let us select the uh, 8K. Wow! Look at the color. It's very very sharp, vibrant, and the sharpness, the details of the fur is very very nice. Look at the uh, details of the chameleon. Now let's, let us choose another video. Okay, this video is a Dolby Vision video. On YouTube, you can see so clear and look at the contrast. It's so amazing. It's just so amazing. I just out of words, you know, it's very amazing. Look at the videos and the sharpness of B7U. Okay, let's just
Okay, let's try another video, which is the final video before I wrap it up. So let's try another video. Now look at this video. What do I see? You see the fur of the lion. So detailed. So you mean you see the fur of the lion is so fine. It can you can still see very clear from the projection of chick B7U. Right, the leopard, the background color is so natural and definitely is one of the one of the best projectors you can find on the market. Alright, so basically that wraps up today uh, reviews. Hope you guys like it. You know, so I'll leave the uh, all the details down the description below. So if you like my video, remember to click like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, that's all today and thank you guys. And I will hopefully in very short period of time I will posting another videos for another review for another model. Okay, thank you and have a nice day. Thank you very much.